the lips are a little cut up because I got hit by a door on my way to get into work. That doesn't matter right now. Listen up, boys, girls, niggas, and whatever you identify as. Fat nigga season is for whoever. It does not matter. Those niggas are taking anything. And it's time for you to prepare those skinny archive pieces that you wear, those tight ass hoodies, and the other hoodies from the tier list will not do justice for the winter that is coming amongst us niggas. One nigga in my comment section said, if you did a pants list and a hoodie list, you bitch ass nigga, jokes on, why the fuck did you not do a jacket list yet? And I responded very nicely. Please relax yourself, you bitch ass nigga. I will be doing that momentarily. I just want to alarm niggas that fat nigga season is approaching very quickly and they already took Miss Nigga Muffins and I can tell who's a fat guy because of that. What is going on, my lovely? Amazing, beautiful, chiseled, sexy, awesome, depressed, no bitch getting niggas. Now, on this video, we are going to talk about hoodies and jackets, but more so the talk. We already did the hoodie list, nigga. So we're gonna go to the jacket list because winter's coming and the fat niggas are coming. And they're gonna already, they don't need the jackets. We need the jackets, nigga. But the fat niggas are welcome to take the jacket recommendations too because I love everyone and everyone should take the recommendations because I have a bunch of jackets that are very expensive, very cheap, and it goes in different ranges, but it doesn't matter because we put them in a tier list of how warm they keep you, nigga, whether it's a bomber or whatever, it's a denim jacket, or whether it's a puffer, or whether it's a full-on coat, nigga. We're gonna try to keep you warm with this tier list, and if not, you cannot afford it because it'll get to the point where even I can't afford it, nigga. And you will see that I have recommendations to go alongside of what I would recommend for these types of jackets to keep you niggas warm. <laughs> tier one, we're going to start off with uh, the North Face. This North Face, as you can see from the inside and the crumbling from the inside, this is a pretty shitty North Face, but I like it. I like shitty things. I don't know why. I guess that's part of my lore. I really like shitty things. If you see my fit pics and see certain things that I wear on my Instagram, you will see that I like to troll a lot and wear like very loud, obnoxious things and sometimes even dial it down to even more thriftier, basic shit that you would not even bat another eye on. And this uh, Norse face is one of those things that I found at the thrift a really long time ago and I thought it was just like a funny, cool like jacket. And you can wear you know what feels like a homeless nigga is hugging me and he has frostbite <laughs> when i wear it so i recommend this jacket if it's in pristine condition or wherever you draw you see the north face joggers and the people who are running the npcs that niggas like to call them I recommend getting those ones at the actual North Face store rather than spending like $15 on a thrifted one. Unless the thrifted one is essentially brand new and does not look like a, a basement <laughs> ceiling in, on the inside, nigga. And you know what? If you want to go for a more brazen, bold choice, we have the Supreme version. And this one's even more shittier because it's basically even thinner than the t-shirt. I don't know why they would make that and not even introduce any padding but the buttons are pretty snazzy <laughs> they actually are really nice i found this at the bottom of my base admit inside the corner in the deepest corner i was like what is this green and i remembered i got this a long time ago and i just wore it once and never did it again and it is a honestly very funny jacket i uh probably might wear it again just to for the lols is that what people say nowadays the lols and the lols lols uh, this is the pattern. Like, why is this the only good quality thing out of here? And then everything else is just like, like, it's so crazy how this feels. But it needless to say, this is tier one, nigga. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, I suggest getting like a more quality windbreaker. But uh, that would be in tier two when we move on to the next one, niggas. Now, tier two is basically like tier one, but with a little more padding and a little more high maintenance. It's a little bit more. You're still probably would be ass depending on who you ask yeah i did see what i did anyways nigga balenciaga windbreaker now this is an old john this one's pretty shitty but the padding on this is phenomenal except for the arms i get a little chilly on the arms but i would give it half a fat nigga as a rating um the arms are a little chilly but as you can see there's padding on the hood it feels a little more warmer 
And something I can compare this to is one of the $200 Arcaric jackets. These ones, what you said, the Arcaric, Arkies, what people have been saying when they do that shit where they're in the rain. Not a lot of people wear the Arkies anymore. I don't see those around anymore. I feel like it was a trend and then it disappeared and maybe only the adult rich niggas wear it. But needless to say, and the graffiti niggas, these are awesome. These are amazing. I had like six and I gave most of them away for free for no reason at all other than I just like giving shit away, nigga. And that reminds me, I have to ship that nigga his shit by the end of the week. By the end of the week, nigga. So by the time this releases, I gotta ship that nigga shit. Um, also, the padding is very nice. This is a $200 version. I really fuck with this, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see, I got it a double XXL just to just to get that mysterious, like, kind of trenchy thing going on. And if not, I'm feeling, like, non-trenchy. I can get to cinch the shit. And I'm not paying more than two. I didn't even pay for this shit. I got all six of them for free, nigga. Needless to say, nigga, <laughs> you can tell the Celsius is beating my ass and I'm full of energy. This jacket will run you a pretty petty if you try to get more padding on it. I suggest the $200 one with a $159 one or whatever they're charging on Depop, nigga. Get that one because I fuck with these jackets. I'm not gonna lie. I still fuck with them. I don't, I like the, I hate treads, but I, I like this one. This trend, except for when the niggas were like butt naked, but they had the jacket on in the shower. I didn't really fuck with that trend going on, but I really like this and they're easy to get very reliable jackets let's get on to tier three nigga i realized i had to put some chapstick on nigga i was looking crazy tier three is denim jackets now these denim jackets are pretty easy to find not this one the one that i have for example of course has to be a balenciaga swing denim jacket now this one will not keep you as warm because this is a cropped version i have uh, another version right here nigga <laughs> We have another version right here. This one's warmer than both the Arc'teryx and every other tier before. I recommend these. This one, the heavier versions. Cheap alternative is obviously Gap or any vintage denim jacket that you see. More specifically, Carhartt, nigga. If you actually see that and run by it in the thrift, it's pretty rare to find. I suggest going on Depop or eBay. eBay's way better because Depop niggas know the game and they're trying to charge niggas extra. These ones will run you a pretty penny though. This one I think is eight and I think the other one goes for about five, but these are pretty comfortable. I don't know what it is about denim. If you put it with a thermal, you're cooling in the winter, nigga. Guaranteed trust, nigga. You'll be cooling it and it'll feel like, I'm gonna say two fat niggas for tier three, two fat niggas. The denim jackets I will put, cause technically denim jackets are jackets, right? So I guess I could put it in the tier list. It wouldn't go on hoodies cause we didn't have a fucking hood. Tier 3, these denim jackets, these bad boys. You can find the cheaper alternatives, obviously, if you just search up denim jackets. And I know Jaded Lemon has a fucking pair. Do not get a pair of Jaded Lemon denim jackets. You can't really get a pair unless you put the quantity of two in the cart. But you know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm losing my English slowly and daily. I feeling like i got dementia right before i get into tier four i really want to quickly like put this one in between because i feel like there's a lot of hype behind it and i would just want to place it this is of course the capital and i think i'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video the padding is not too uh great but it does somewhat keep me warm i don't know how to put it it's like very strange i don't really know it's like in between a windbreaker and a puffer it's very strange but if it's in the blizzard and it's snowing, nigga, just know that this is not working at all. And that's why it's in between tier three and tier four, nigga. Any tier below is not fitting a blizzard, nigga. It's certainly not this damn jacket, nigga. It is very flashy and I always wear it for a Halloween because of the, the skeleton. Ooh, spooky, nigga. Ah. <laughs> And needless to say, I'm gonna put this in between right before we get to tier four. I just want to squeeze that little nigga in there. This would run you about, I think like roughly like 800 to a rack. I don't know how much these go for anymore. Look, we got a fucking Manscaped. Why is that in here? I don't know. I haven't worn this jacket since like last Halloween nigga, but needless to say, I actually really fuck with this jacket. That is tier 3.5. Let's go to tier number four. Tier four, obviously, will be bombers. 
Now this one doesn't really count because I can't find my black Vetmont bombers. I can't find any of them. I think they're in the basement somewhere. I can't really tell where the shits are. We have a substitute and it is a Supreme uh, bobber that I randomly found that I never wore in a really long time, probably because it's extremely loud. And it's leather, it's crazy because it's leather, but it's like, it's Scott, it's a Supreme collab. But another bomber I'd like to introduce for the tier is this helmet wing, four sleeve bombers, bombers inside. It is really warm, but it's very thick at the same time. Not as thick as a puffer or thicker than snicker or thicker than cock. Needless to say, it gets the job done. I would put them at tier four. This one, I feel as though, uh, I don't know. I have never worn it, so I can't really say, but the Vetmont Bombers are very warm indeed, but not warmer than what's on tier five. And tier five is basically basic. Any bomber like Alpha Industries or any bomber that you see in those Army Navy stores would be a great, uh, Fuck. <laughs> what is that word called, nigga? <laughs> Replacement, nigga. That's all I can think of. Replacement for uh, these expensive ones. I think this one runs about 800. I think I have never seen that helmet leg bomber on Grailed. You can prove me wrong and find it, nigga. I don't know. I don't be on Grailed like that anymore. But needless to say, that... Uh, bomber and this bomber are great for tier four we're going to go to tier five nigga tier five i will say very catching off guard for niggas is parkas now for parkas i have this balenciaga campaign obama logo this is supposed to be on my next pickup video even though i had it for a really long time but i never wore it i usually do uh pick up videos very randomly and sporadically since this is kind of a fashion account it's gonna turn into something you know like, i don't know but this jacket is amazing but weather wise i realized before i couldn't make it to tier it couldn't make it to tier six because tier six beat this by a landslide in like nine different ways it was actually amazing how i was bamboozled at me thinking that this park was actually gonna keep me warm when it started getting a lot colder nigga it felt like uh this other parka that i have where is it like this parka is a step above for tier five and this one there it's this is why balenciaga varies because this is the woman's version of this parka but like less like uh, political looking and like uh, work wise and less loud this is the woman's version equally probably as expensive this one retails for like 2100 it's a woman's swing parka and it keeps me as warm as if you are biking down my mount everest from the top nigga this is honestly terrible i don't know i didn't want to include it on the list but i want to show you how much it varies on balenciaga the price does not really matter nigga so honestly this uh, is a step up from the Arteryx and all the other ones that I have mentioned before, including the Bombers, which is crazy because this is a really nice warm bomber. I mean, Parka, they got losing my mind. What I would recommend is, um, fuck. I would recommend the North Face, like a more padded North Face or a more padded Arteryx, but that's not really a cheaper option that I would think of. <laughs> Your six is completely unexpected, but it is just leather jackets. Niggas sleep on them. They're very cheap in the thrifts, probably like 60 or 70. This one aged pretty beautifully. I really like the distressing dirt and looks like a, just smells like beautiful leather, nigga. Have you ever smelled leather, nigga? It's like, oh my goodness, man. If this was a drug and it gets you high, nigga, <laughs> I'm a crackhead, nigga. This leather feels great, nigga. I keep wrapping myself around it, nigga. I don't know. This is a whole different tier. It beats all the other tiers in terms of keeping me warm. I remember I was in a party and it was like fucking like 50 degrees inside and it was fucking hot as hell. I was sweating. It was terrible. Belly was getting wet. My back was getting wet. Pause. It felt like eight niggas gave me back shots. It was terrible. I had to take the leather off and then expose that I was like wearing my sister's like fucking t-shirt under that tight on me. I look kind of crazy. Needless to say, nigga, the leather never fails. I would put it on a really high tier list. Not the Supreme one. Don't get it twisted with the Supreme one. The Supreme one is low-key kind of ass. 
but the leather jacket sets you genuinely look at the double collar on the bitch nigga damn <laughs> i'll put this at a high list nigga needless to say uh tier six for this and we're gonna go out to tier seven because obviously nothing beats a puffer nigga now this is north face supreme puffer very beautiful, very comfortable, very warm. Kept me super warm throughout the whole entire winter. All oh, puffers. I don't know what's it about them. I still don't understand the science behind how these shits are even warmer than some parkas and windbreakers. Because the windbreakers are called windbreakers. So it's supposed to break the wind. But these niggas are heavy duty. Somehow, some way, I can see why North Face, the cheaper option, is obviously a North Face version of this. But the Supreme ones really shine, and if you really want to get bougie, nigga, get the Balenciaga C shape. Now this one, it, the air goes right up your coochie. It feels a little strange at first, but trust me, that airflow is necessary because this jacket can get very hot. And honestly, I love this jacket. I love the design. I love how short it kind of feels. It's a little crop, just a little bit, so it can. If you're wearing the low rise pair of jeans, it will show your pubes. But the sleeves are very long it's very nice i actually really fuck with this jacket which is why i have three of them on my instagram post niggas think i'm capping which is why i did that whole entire troll nigga and niggas think i resold them after i posted and flexed that no nigga we still have all three the third one is somewhere nigga inside that closet i'm not looking for it but if i have two nigga you obviously know i have the third one and there's no cap in my rap needless to say I'm not getting that jacket. That jacket's all the way in the corner over there. It's another Supreme Puffer. Um, I would like to say tier six. Are we at tier six, nigga? Yeah, we're at tier six. Puffers for the win, obviously. North Face and any other puffer that you find that a thrift shop would do. I suggest going on eBay once again to find like a really one that is personally styled for you. So when fat nigga season approaches at its direct pinpoint, at its climax, with the rising action the climax, you have your puffer that is one of one to you. So niggas will be like, where'd you get it? You could be like eBay. So that way it shuts niggas down. So they can't be like, damn nigga, send the link because it's not in quality. It's personalized to you nigga, because it's rare. It's white guy it's vintage nigga. I need to stop drinking Celsius nigga. Second to last, Tears, tier seven, and of course, nigga, this is the number one claim to fame. As you can see, Miss Nigga Muffins is in the back, pregnant as fuck, nigga. The Balenciaga puffer padded jacket. This one is the warmest jacket I own. Second to warmest, nigga, actually, honestly, because there's another tier. And there's more tiers, but I can't really, I'm gatekeeping those for what I actually pull it off in the winter. I do not want to show all my jackets. I don't want to show all my fits. I'm not like these niggas that just pick up videos and then you have to go on their Instagram and then see when they eventually post the shit that they showed. No, I'm a mysterious nigga and I like to hide shit, nigga. Except for some of the jackets I showed that I didn't really expect to show here. This jacket, nevertheless, keeps me really warm and I really fuck with this. I'd like to, the one thing I will say is that I will never like to show my next move. That's what I'm trying to say. This jacket is warm as hell. I don't know what other uh, alternative is but it's very padded I don't know how to like explain the science behind it but it beats all the other puffers probably because it's more extended and it's like really huge it's supposed to look like that it's a very crazy jacket nevertheless I really love this jacket it runs you about 800 now it's like so if you if you get the same exact jacket you're low-key dick sucking because I've never seen another nigga wear this jacket, like, honestly, except for, like, models who, like, model it and, like, stuff, like, on the websites and shit like that. I've never seen another nigga take a fit pick in this jacket in any other colorway, nigga, besides maybe the yellow and navy blue one. But needless to say, I think this jacket is a number one Joseon rhetoric. It is dick sucking if you do it. Once again, it's one of those pieces where it's like, nah, you're cock sucking. Needless to say, nigga, <laughs> I love this jacket so much, I can't lie, um, just get a big ass coat, nigga, at the thrift, nigga, I don't know what else to tell you with some good padding for you to get this, and the next one, I don't even have anything for you, it's just fucking ridiculous. Last but not least, sample Vetmont Parka, it's not really a sample, I've seen it on Rihanna, you only see it on, like, celebrities, this is a really rare Parka. I don't want to hold it too close. You can already start seeing like little stains on it. It's because my cat 
took a shit all over it while I was in the basement. So that's it's done right there. I have to get it professionally cleaned or however niggas do it. This parka is really beautiful. I really fuck with it. I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of it unless it's like a blizzard because it's that heavy, it's that crazy, and my arm low-key hurts from carrying it, nigga. That jacket itself is amazing. I can't wear that shit right now. I could even try to put it on for you. I could even show you the details because it smells and there's stains and I don't want to look like a dirty nigga to you guys. It's all about, uh, yeah. Needless to say, that one's another one that you can't find. I think that one goes for like seven, eight racks. And again, as you can tell, the tier list is hit on all love. I said it wasn't about the price, but at this point it seems like it's about the price because of how rare the jacket is. But it's easy to find a duplicate if you find like one of those furry, sexy little hooker jackets that make you look like you wear it with the high heels or whatever you niggas do when you wear the fur jackets, try to copy Cardi and do all that other bullshit. It's up to you as a replacement. That's the only one that I can think of that would keep you as warm, like a full fur one. The fur jackets low key are ass because it looks like it's fur on the uh, inside, but it's not. It's just like a jacket, just like a tier three or tier four type of shit type of ordeal needless to say nigga i have been doing a lot of yapping i'm not gonna lie this nigga muffins just jumped down and my closet is fully opened and my heart is racing because this nigga muffins can take a shit at any point destroy my whole entire livelihood of these expensive ass jackets that i have collected to show you niggas I have a couple of Walter jackets and Montclair jackets, but Montclair is too expensive and I'm trying to make this video more affordable, nigga. I'm gonna, you're gonna see the Montclairs pretty soon, nigga, once I, once the real nigga starts popping out, nigga. Gonna be less Balenciaga and that is fucking full cap. I got plenty more to show, niggas. Cover and subscribe, niggas, for more content, of course. I've seen a lot of niggas tell me to start the vlogs. I have been filming them, I just have to put them together and i want to visit more thrift so it can be a full vlog thing rather than it just be like a three minute video because all just clips stacking the top of each other and so pieces and you know what i'm not gonna spoil it nigga just know that more content is coming at a faster pace because i am more motivated because you niggas keep making my day special and we just hit 2k so why not disappoint i guess i mean why disappoint niggas <laughs> Fucking mountain of clothes, nigga. It's not the lonely mountain. You gotta climb over fat nigga season has approached.